Today we're going to have a presentation about Hasper Interactive. So first, we will introduce the Hasper Interactive and then analyze the issues to the downfalls and finally give some recommendations. Hasbro is an American multinational toy and board game company which was formed in 1923. It is one of the largest toy makers in the world with the headquarters located in Rhode Island. With the belief of interactive game had a brilliant future, a new subsidiary called Hasbro Interactive was formed in 1995 which was an independent division led by Tom Dusenberry target to capture the perspective game from emerging market interactive games. In the next three years, Hasbro Interactive showed positive growth with revenue double each year from $35 million in 1996 to $86 million in 1997 and $196 million in 1998. Well, in 1999, Hasbro in Interactive suffered from loss of $74 million. Furthermore, Hasbro Interactive suffered more losses in 2000 as it incurred more cost expected experienced disappointing high product returns and continually missed product development deadlines. By the end of this year, Hasbro Interactive was sold to a French company Infogrames for $100 million. Many issues led to the downfall of Hasbro Interactive, such as motivation issues, communication issues, ethic issues, conflict issues, and well-being issues. We believe the communication and motivation issues are the most critical issues. Thus, our presentation will be focused on analyzing these two issues. First, we will talk about motivation and goal setting. Because of the significant growth before 1999 and company's aggressive strategy, Hasbro Interactive got an aggressive revenue target which was $1 billion in 3 years. Mr. Dusenberry was a visionary who was ambitious and confident, and the lofty goal was challenging enough to motivate Mr. Dusenberry's excitement. However, Mr. Dusenberry was a tremendous promoter but, but was not good at finance and operation. Meanwhile, the encouragement from Wall Street and action of acquiring from competitors stimulated Hasbro Interactive to do expansion and acquisition without multi-year plan. It also deal with a lot of different projects at the same time. As a result, Hasbro Interactive dramatically exceeded the budget which was set for 1999 and some products missed the deadlines. So why this happened? Based on the goal setting theory, the goal should be challenging which could motivate employees' passion, let them work with excitement. But meanwhile, the goal also should be acceptable which need to know the necessary skills what are required to achieve the goal. The company should understand the employee's ability and set a goal feeling the ability. Unfortunately, Hasbro Interactive failed to realize that Mr. Dusenberry was bad at finance and operation and make a too challenging goal for him. Thus. Mr. Dusenberry didn't make a multi-year plan and expanded the business regardless of the cost. The company began to lose confidence in Hasbro Interactive and do not believe that Mr. Dusenberry could do his job properly. Thus, the company decided to give some help to Hasbro Interactive. Charlie McCarthy and Jackie Dyer kept eyes on the cost. The new and more exacting financial system was implemented, but it did not but it didn't fit the business of Hasbro Interactive and annoyed Mr. Dusenberry's work. The company's standard manager reporting also didn't support Mr. Dusenberry's capitalization. Mr. Varakia, the new CEO, also kept conservative opinion on Hasbro Interactive, lowered revenue target to $300 million. All these activities made Mr. Dusenberry downhearted and dismayed. There are three reasons that can explain the result. First, according to Hackman and Oldman job characteristic models, the autonomy that gave freedom to employ is necessary. But Charlie and Jackie did tighten controls at a cost which made Hasbro inactive not independent anymore. Second, based on the expectancy theory, equal treatment to all divisions is also necessary. However, new financial system and standard manager reporting were optimized for other divisions and did not fit Hasbro Interactive's business. Third, the revenue target was lowered to $300 million, but Mr. Dusenberg thought he can do better with more investment. This new goal was not challenging enough which cannot stimulate employees' motivation. Therefore, the job was not satisfied and the innovation and creativity were damped. On the other side, 
The communication was a big problem, which stimulated motivation problems. There are three barriers which influence the communication in the company. The first one is physiological barriers. Mr. Dusenberry was too confident and didn't consult with other divisions. As a result, Hasper Interactive didn't know the condition of monopoly promotion. The second barrier is systematic barrier. The delays in transferring contact information from paper to the financial system made it difficult for Hasper Interactive to gather information about inventory currently. This blocks the operation of Hasper Interactive. The last one is attitudinal barriers. There is personality conflict that Mr. Dusenberry had an antagonistic attitude on Charlie and Jackie because the tight control of cost annoyed Mr. Dusenberry. It is difficult for them to cooperate with each other effectively. In order to solve the problem happens in Hasbro Interactive, we advise to the managers with the following recommendations. For communication, the manager should first understand the strategy of company, improve the work efficiency, and resolve the management conflicts. The implement of decision of Hasbro Interactive require an effective communication process. The process of communication is the process of understanding to decision making and passing information. An accurate, clear, and concise expression of decision is important prerequisite for effective communication. Moreover, manager in Hasbro Interactive need to let every staff have a correct understanding to the strategy and the decision. When managers making decisions, policymakers and practitioners need necessary and efficient communications to reach consensus on decision making to avoid the fault in execution caused by the misunderstanding. The second is to set up a specific goal. Managers need to set up a specific goal to make sure every staff in Hasbro Interactive could understand the point. When every employer could when every employee could understand the specific decision that the managers express, the probability of communication conflict will have a significant reduction. On the other hand, the specific objective will help staff to avoid embarrassment in the conversation when facing the failure. The third is to use different language to different people. Since language may cause communication barriers, Managers should choose the vocabulary that employees can easily understand and make the information clear without misunderstanding. In order to eliminate the negative impact of the language barrier, when sending the information, manager can firstly tell the people who are not familiar with the content. For example, before the official assignment of task, answer the question that employees may feel misunderstanding at first. So for the motivation, the our first recommendation is to make a common goal. A common goal is important for Hasper to set up which need to consider the ability of the team. Managers in Hasper Interactive should select a common goal with the staff and take effective strategies, listen to the thought of each member to enable everyone in the corporation to try their best to achieve the common goal. Only in this way, Managers can mobilize the enthusiasm and creativity of the team members and achieve the maximum efficiency of the team. The second one is to improve the incentive system. Incentive system also need to be improved in Hasbro Interactive. Comparing with managerial incentive system, promotion system is a better way to team motivation. Hasbro need to set up a regional system to motivate staff, which mainly includes the team discipline, proper authorization, team incentive, and restraint, perfect promotion system. Moreover, it can fully realize personal value and the value of the team and avoid conflict result in responsibility, right, and profit to the interest of the whole team. The third one is collaboration and communication. Building a harmonious relationship with the team in Hasbro Interactive is significant for managers. The harmonious relationship among the team members and effective communications can not only reduce the contradictions and conflicts between the members, but also promotes the mutual understanding. The last one is praise. Comparing with other incentive methods, Praise is the lowest cost way but with a better result and should be used by the managers in Hasbro Interactive. Give them credit for the subordinaries and timely give praise to the good subordinates. 
freeze every member in the team by sending message, private communication, and freeze in a variety of ways to tell your subordinates, he did a good job, keep going and work hard. So that's come to the end of our presentation.